thanks for tuning into No Wine in No Time. I'm your host, Dave, and the majority of us love French wines. And we have to admit that the French wine labels can be a bit confusing. To the French, a wine label denotes a sense of place as opposed to a specific varietal. So when we look at a French wine label, it generally would tell us the town that it came from, but it doesn't tell us what grapes were made to make that specific wine. It can be very confusing. But the French also give us other clues in the form of capsules. And a capsule is just this little foil part that's on the top of our wine bottle. And in this case, these capsules are called CRDs, Capsule Representative de Dra. And it basically means a capsule that represents the law. And on these capsules, these are actually intended to be French tax tags. So for a bottle that was produced in France and intended to be marketed in France, you will see this French tag on 100% of the bottles. For bottles that were produced in France, but then sent out to other countries, you might see a French tag about 10% of the time. So it's always a big question, is a wine that has a French tax tag more French than one that does not have a French tax tag? And the answer to that is maybe. And the reason why I say maybe, if you think about it, if you're a wine producer and you're making a wine for a specific market and you know it's going to be exported, why would you pay the tax for that bottle to not be marketed in the market that it was intended to? Sounds a little confusing, but let's also talk about what these tax tags tell us about the wine itself. And the first thing is that these capsules are produced in four different colors. The first color is green, and green represents AOC level wine, and that's Appellation Origine Controlée, uh, France's highest level of quality. Then the second color is blue, and blue rep represents Vente de Pays, and Vente de Pays is wine that's produced in a specific area, but it's like country wine, so another level down. Then we have orange tax tags, and orange represents Vente du Naturel, and Vente du Naturel is a sweet wine that's actually fortified with a little brandy to raise its alcohol. It's the French version of port wine. And then we finally have a maroon color, and maroon is the least specific. Maroon can either be AOC level wine or uh, a Vente de Pays level wine. So you're going to see green, blue, orange, and maroon in these French tax tags. Now let's take and put a French tax tag on the screen and tell you exactly what information is on there. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the center. And in the center we see the letters D, G, D, D, I. And that's the General Directorate of Customs and Indirect Rights. These are the people that establish these tax laws and the ones who are regulating the collection and distribution of those taxes. Then we also have a female figure, then her name is actually Marianne. And Marianne is actually the historic symbol of France. You'll see her face on stamps, coins, and of course, French wine bottles. Then we see the words République Française, which is the Republic of France. Now if we go around the outer edge of the French tax tag, the first thing we're going to see is a number, and that number is the department where that wine was produced. For example, the department of Bordeaux, the department of Rhone, the department of Burgundy. Then in the center, we're going to see one of three different level, letters. The first letter is R, and that stands for Ricotant, and Ricotant means the tax was paid by the people who actually grew the grapes and made the wine. Then we could have an N, and N stands for Negociant, and a Negociant is someone who buys grapes but produces wine themselves. And the third one is Ultre Positaire Agré, and Ultre Positaire Agré is it, uh, represented by an E, and that is someone who is more of a marketer than a grower or a wine producer. 
Then finally around that outer ring, we have the administrative approval number of the bottler themselves. So that's a tremendous amount of information to be placed on just a very small tax tag on the top of a French wine bottle. So you may ask the question, why do they do that? Why do they go through all that trouble? And if you think about going into a fine French restaurant uh, and there's a whole wall of wine, those bottles aren't stored vertically, those bottles are stored horizontally. So now think about it, if we have a whole wall of wine and we can look at the color of the tax tag, know the department it came from, and whether it's a negotiant or ricotant wine, we know the, the level of quality of it, we can decode that wine without ever seeing the wine label itself. So that's why those tax tags are on there in the first place. And when you're searching for wine at your local wine and spirits shop, you can get a little bit more information from the top of the bottle as well as from the label itself. So hopefully you can take that information and apply it in your everyday life. That's all the time we have for today. And I ask that you tune in next time because soon you'll know wine in no time.